Hiya fam, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we're back with another reaction. You asked for it, we brought it back fam. It's Vikings time. Which one, Dan? We're on season 4, episode 11, The Outsider. Yes. I have no idea what happened last time other than the fact that Ragnar has come back and asked, Who wants to be king? We're going to find out the answer to that question. Skull fam. Skull, Dan. Skull, Joe. Well, nobody killed him. Wants to be king! What about you, Sig? Do you want to be king? Man up, you little man! Yeah. What are you waiting for? Mm. Are you afraid be a man? You all talk tough, so do something. Yeah, you abandon y'all. Oh, you gonna bow up? No, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yeah, all that tough talk was just you being upset that your dad wasn't here. Mm-hmm. They still boys. Mm. <laughs> the one that doesn't is not a boy here. Yeah. Because he's a man. Why did you come back? I came back because I wanted to see what just become of my sons. That was nice of you. And I'm going to England. And I thought that you all might want to join me. I'm in. Let's go. This is part of a map of the Roman Empire. It's the Mediterranean Sea. I want to go there! Yeah, England sucks. I kind of liked it. <laughs> Why are you not going with your brother? Kattegat has changed. It is a major trading center in the region. And many other kings we know regarded with envy. We want to stay and protect our mother. Mama's boys. It is wrong to treat her that way. Why are you so polite? She's just a slave. You all just want to have her. I have her. Your mom's not even gonna discipline you. Of course not. Oh. Well, there you are. Getting in fights, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he's training. Oh, yeah. I want you to be ready. Why won't you tell me what we have to do? Because I'm not ready. Are you two together now? What will become of us? Your father's return brings calamity. What calamity will befall us? Not one calamity. Calamity is too many to number. Mm. You are happy to see him, I am sure. But in truth, you should curse the day. Oh my. Some bad stuff about to go down. How did your father take it? He feels his need to offend. What happened in England is the most important thing in life. Bjorn, you've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Everything was always what he wanted. Those days are gone. Well, these are your people, too. Ragnar! You look like you've seen a ghost. I know, he just kind of shows up now. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's seen a ghost. Yes. <laughs> oh, she is sleeping with him. Okay. I see your brother likes to watch. Yeah. <laughs> I brought a peeping Tom. Of course, that's probably what he's been doing all his life, playing a nice game of watch. <laughs> right. What is your name? Magret. It's weird that he just drags himself around like that. It's no way for somebody to live back then. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's everywhere he goes. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, is he just following him now? It was a long day, man. She's just going from one brother to the next, except for him. I'd feel left out too, you know? Right. Well, that's why you gotta treat these people a little better, man. Are you going with Bien? I made him a promise. You know, I must go back to him. Should have gone back a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I knew as well as you what happened to the settlement. I could have told everyone. I chose not to. Why? It's because Floki loves you, and he always has. Exactly. No other way to put that. Damn. Good shot. Yeah, that's <laughs> surprising. Show off. Yeah, I don't think mom would approve of that at all. Oh, shut up. Okay. Damn. All right. I had no idea. <laughs> wow. 
Just, right. He doesn't have to run away. He'll be fine. Oh, could you imagine that sword crawling at you on the oh, ground? <laughs> Oh, oh, he drew blood. I don't think those two like each other very much. See him too? Okay. Apparently everybody gets a booty call out here in the woods. Well, then we're just working our way to boneless here. You've all had to. I want to have it too. Do you have to ask her? What will you ask her? Mind going to bed with our crippled brother? Hopefully they don't ask like that. Right. I will ask her and see how she feels. I know how she will feel. You are the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. So you're gonna use your position? I wish it didn't come down to that, but it appears to be. I have a feeling I will never see you again. You were sure to meet again in Valhalla? I don't know. If I'll see you in Valhalla. You don't say that, Ragnar. His face not what it used to be. No. Watch over my family. I love you. Yeah, Floki said he loved you. I love you too, Ragnar Northbrook! <laughs> I love you too, Ragnar. Times change, I guess, huh? They're not the warriors they used to be. You shouldn't seem very happy. Oh, my God. Shivering over there. That's uh, not something you see every day. It is a very great privilege to meet you, King Ragnar. Thank you. And who are you? What is your name? Astrid. It's been a long time, Ragnar. Oh, everybody got fancy. <laughs> right. It's all that economic progress. Yeah. Are you and that girl? Why are you here, Ragnar? <laughs> it's the same question you did. <laughs> <laughs> no. I have to kill you. You cannot tell my brothers that uh, I'm not able to satisfy a woman. <laughs> I will blame myself. <laughs> Come on, Ivar, it's not her fault. Lots of men can have sex to be a son of Ragnar Lothbrok. Feeding into his ego right now? Mm-hmm. That is hard. I don't even need that. <laughs> Whatever keeps you alive. Yeah, I'd probably just say too. <laughs> The livelihoods of our people were all bound up in the success of our first settlement. And you failed to tell me if it's destruction. I regret what happened with the settlement. And I regret what happened between us. Kind of late for that. We all approved of your ideas, but they didn't work. Ragnar Lothbrok didn't succeed. It did for a while. I'm tired. Not in the saddle, but in the mind. In my mind. I wish I never left her far. That's fair. Forgive me for all of my faults, all of my failings. No regrets. No regrets. I think there are some regrets. Almost certainly. <laughs> Part of life that I really hate is like you just can't go back and fix those things. Right. I am so amazed by him. Do you love him more than you love me? Of course not. Aren't you Lagatha? Yeah. Lagatha, you swing all the ways. <laughs> Nobody can resist the Lagatha. Apparently not. <laughs> I'm committed to going with Bjorn. Secret? You know that I won't go with father. Our father was defeated. He lost. He's done a lot of winning before that. Mm -hmm. Nobody believes in him. Especially not the gods. I think it's just y'all don't believe in him. Everybody else got a regular cup. Look at Vitzer. I know. He's got a freaking mug. Or a <laughs> pitcher. Mm-hmm. You are all bastards. None of you deserve to our father. One, one of them kids loves his dad still. That's the one who can't actually go with him. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna commit suicide, are you? <laughs> what? Uh, that's not supposed to happen. Damn, birds all ready to eat him. Odin's birds here. They're all around, aren't they? <laughs> oh no, this is not how you die. Odin says you live. That might have been what that was. Mm -hmm. Just being, gods, are you still with me or not? There's a little bit more to your future. Oh yeah. 
Well, look, man, now you know, but don't do that again. Oh, okay. eating the scraps at the table. <laughs> it's good enough for you now, I guess. If you're hungry, you're hungry. She always hoped that one day you would return. Why do you not talk to mother? I will. He hasn't talked to her yet. That's interesting. That's true. He hasn't. I would wait for everyone to go to sleep. And then like a crab in the moonlight, I will crawl out here and sit on your throne. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can picture that. <laughs> Perhaps I'll explain my actions when we get to England. What use is a cripple on such a journey? No, then don't come. Don't tell me what to do. Then come. <laughs> Not unless you ask me like you asked my brothers. I will. Of course I'll come. <laughs> that is such an interesting conversation to be had. Those two, because they're so alike. I know. Okay. We're back, fam. We're back. So Ragnar comes back. He challenges all of his sons and practically all of Kattegat to take his kingship. Mm -hmm. Nobody beefs up. Yeah. It's very interesting, isn't it? It's yeah, like, so where's the respect then? <laughs> you have to imagine somebody in that crowd has the ambition to want to take him down, right? Yeah, nobody's got ambition now since they got a since they got economy. Yeah. Suddenly the town's got some money. It's like, hey, we don't need to go raid. Who cares? All right, fine. Call yourself king. You, we've we been doing we got, just fine without you. Yeah, we got a lot of crazies around here that call themselves something. <laughs> so maybe, maybe that's what's going on there. Then I don't know. I feel like everybody's just got a little bit too domesticated with with him being gone. Like it seems like they just lost that raiding spirit. Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, like you can see his sons still know how to fight. I'm sure there's still good fighters in the community there, but they probably don't have anybody with actual experience and that actual like bloodlust right they're not about you know starting strife with people anymore it seems like they're more about like if you want to come here and start something we're ready to go yeah okay but until then we got mo there's business to be had and money to be made so. yeah pretty much okay they all got jobs now that's what they got <laughs> yeah no more people starving in the streets you know just, everyone's doing fine god i miss the old days no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, what happened to the poverty man yeah what happened to the plagues and everything yeah, yeah. But Lagatha appears to be okay. I was worried about that in the previous ep in the previous episode. I know mm -hmm. uh, she appears to be better than okay. She's moved on, <laughs> yeah, again. So yeah, moved on in, in an entirely different direction. So be it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not complaining. Lagatha is just like enjoying enjoying all the all the spoils of life. Yes, and that's just her thing. She can have all the young people she wants, men and women. Yeah. I mean, and I wish Ragnar hadn't spoiled everything and said, I'm old enough to be your father. Mm -hmm. Knowing full well that Lagatha pretty much, even if she doesn't look like it, is the same age as you. Yeah. <laughs> like, hmm. All right. Hey, that's what rich, rich people do. They get the younger people, okay? I guess so. It appears she still has her earldom. Mm hmm. So that's good. So Ragnar's going to go back to England then. Don't know with what, though, because so it, far it sounds like nobody's going with him. Well, he doesn't have a ship either yet, I don't think. So he doesn't have a ship. You know, if Loki's building boats for Bjorn, not Ragnar, so... The only person he's got that's confirmed to go with him is Ivar, for what that's worth. <laughs> you're not going to sail with that. No. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do with Ivar, but okay. Literally, all he can do is sit at the back and adjust the rudder. That's something. I guess. It's like, all right, but you're not sleeping. <laughs> so far, I've seen, like, nobody seems to have any respect for this guy. Like, where are you going to raise an army to actually go with you to England, let alone the tens of thousands of men you're going to need to make a difference? I don't know. Depends on what you're planning on doing there. Yeah. I mean, you're going... What's your What's your goal? Here, he hasn't even talked about his goal. He's just talked about going back to England. Well, he said he's it's supposed to be back to get revenge for his people. But it's like, you got to have an army for that. Unless he plans on just being a one-man mission here. And just go at, in and assassinate Egbert or something? At this point, it's a suicide mission. Right. I suppose he's okay with that. I mean, if he was willing to commit suicide, then surely he's okay with dying for this cause. Maybe. You know, I think, you know, Lagatha really made the point, too. Ultimately, Ragnar has not been a successful individual throughout the course of this show. You know, we can sit here and we can talk about all the raids he had in England. We can sit here and talk about him sacking Paris. But if you get right down to it, he didn't really accomplish anything long term. He lost the settlement in England. He lost his, his allyship with Egbert. 
He lost his ability to re-raid Paris in the future. He's lost the respect of his people. So effectively, he is a failure just with some small successes in there. You know what? Yeah, it's like, it's all been small potatoes up to this point. Nothing's really actually expanded your community or grown your civilization. Mm -hmm. It's just been you running out there raiding. Like, it's amazing how much more developed Kattegat looks in the 10 years since you haven't been there compared to when you were. That's a that's a that's an interesting uh, dichotomy there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think uh, I think you're right. I wonder if Ragnar knows that too. He's got to see the writing on the wall and be like, you know what? This place is pretty big. You know, there's a lot going on here. It doesn't need me. Yeah. But I kind of have to wonder too. You know, as a Viking, is he sitting here and looking at these people and thinking they're soft? I mean, would you would you care if it was Ragnar or what he thought? Because this a lot of you guys sat out there and watched him get baptized. Right. You know, it's like, would you care what he thought at that point? And probably you know? not. You know, I, I thought it was interesting when he said he might not be there in Valhalla because, you know, we've seen him go through his own his own trials with faith. And then, you know, supposedly he's he's lost support of the gods. He's lost support of his people for sure. Although we saw there at the end that the, the Ravens kind of indicated that Odin's still there with him for one last mission at least. No, but in the back of my mind, it's like, man, I, I still want things to be the way they were in like season one and season two. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, man, we were we were just out there, Vikings, everybody was together. We were just raiding, you know? Right. Like, living life in the moment. And that's not where we are now here. You know, life has really changed. Yeah. For everybody. Time, times were great. You went out and you accomplished anything you wanted to do. And then now that you're older, and you've had, you know, some negative experiences in your life, you realize, well, you know what, you can't just do what you want. Yeah. But I don't it, know why you want to get revenge 10 years later here, though. That doesn't make much sense. It's like... And I still really want to know what you've been doing for 10 years, because, you know, how have you been living with yourself all that time? We may never know. Yeah. You know, the... I'll say this. It looks like he's gotten himself clean. Certainly, off, certainly. Off of, off of whatever he was addicted to there. His mind is back where it needs to be for the most part. I mean, he's still obviously depressed, but you can see he's still thinking. Yeah, but he's no longer, you know, a slave to his pain. Right. Well, that's good. But yeah, he is depressed. Otherwise, it's like you wouldn't have attempted to hang yourself there. So. Yeah. But I mean, if everybody kept turning him down and saying no, mm -hmm. like, all right, well, I tried. There's no use for me here. Nobody needs me here. It's like, what, what's what purpose do I still serve here? But then he hang, but then he goes and does it, and the branch breaks. Well, the rope broke. Well, the rope broke. What whatever. <laughs> yeah, to me is a sign from the gods. Mm -hmm. And if we're going down that road with this with this whole thing there, that if you're gonna die, this is not how it's gonna happen. Right, you're going to die on the God's terms, not your own. Yes, we've set a path for you and this isn't it. Mm -hmm. But you're going to see this path through. So. Right. What I'm curious about is what is the calamity that the the seer was talking about? They didn't just say calamity. They said like, yeah. calamities. What, how many things could possibly happen? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out here because it seems like you know, things are going fine without Ragnar. You know, if Ragnar goes out and gets himself killed, what difference is it to the greater Viking community? I don't know. I don't know, but I wonder what something happens to Ragnar. What's that gonna? Is that gonna? Is anybody gonna care? I think his sons will care. Okay. I, I think even though they they don't want to go along with this, I think they still respect him as their father. I think in the long run, that's gonna mean something. They just talk tough. Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to assert their independence because he's been away for so long, but really they still love him because he is their father. Well, I can't say I blame them. So speaking of sons, let's move on to them for a second here. Specifically, one, and I think you know which one we're gonna. To here. It's that blue eyed Fremen wannabe. <laughs> Ivar. Ivar, the boneless there. So this guy surprises me more than any of the brothers. They all have their own things about him. Mm -hmm. Vitzirk there, it's like, wow, man, do you need that much ale <laughs> at one go? You know, or, uh, and Sigurd over there, I don't see the snake in, he, in his eye anymore. He's just a snake now. Right. So, ooh, but there he's, he appears to be the one trying to, trying to be the alpha amongst the Vedas there. Mm -hmm. Then you have Ivar. Who, if you ask me, is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Oh, 100%. Yeah. You know, I think we hit, we hit spot on. He's too much like his father. Mm -hmm. He's constantly thinking. He's constantly scheming. He's competent with weapons, as we saw. So really, there's not a whole lot that could stand in his way if he really wanted to accomplish something, I think. There's a lot of irony in the fact that he failed to kill his son when he was younger. Because mm -hmm. it's like, wow, you are literally staring at yourself here. It really, really is. Yeah, it's incredible how alike they are. He's you without the mobility, pretty much. Yeah. But that's just as crazy because Ivar's a smart guy. As I can, if you can see it here, he's a smart. He's figured out a way to make himself not be useless. Mm -hmm. You know, he's gotten his upper body very strong. He's able to fight with his brothers. 
sh you know, he can shoot arrows with the best of them. Mm -hmm. He can sit there and like take swords and subdue you, basically. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. Yeah, I mean, what he's accomplished considering his condition is really incredible. Yeah, I want to see what's going on in here, though. I, I imagine there's a couple of things going on here. I think some of it is he's got his father's his father's intellect, you know, probably hanging around with Flo. He's done a lot to help him with that. He, he knows all about the, the Viking lore. He knows all about, you know, what it means to be a warrior. He certainly seems like he's a lot more fundamentalist. Than he, he's years. old more. He's more old, old school, school than his yeah. brothers, yeah, for sure. Because he's being taught old school. But I think the issue with him, and I think it's probably something that's going to become an issue sooner or later, is, you know, because of, because of his condition, I imagine mentally that's got to be taking a toll on him, too. That he, he can't do what's going to be expected of him both as a leader and as a Viking. He is physically limited. Yes. He's going to, you know, that, that brain is really going to have to go to work. So, you know, when we saw him you know, almost kill the one slave girl, you know, to try to hide his secret, eventually I can see him killing other people, too. Who, who, you know, maybe mock his condition or, you know, think lesser of him because of the way that he is. And I think that's going to be a liability for him. Time will tell, right? I don't see him being an easy person to kill, though. No, but I also don't see him being a popular person either. No. He, he's very, he's very arrogant. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you really do lord yourself over people. And I don't, and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's a weakness. Yeah. So. Yeah. Will, will people exploit it on him? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Well, fam, I think that's where the episode's going to end this time. It's really good to be back. I've been excited to get back to this. Yes, I did want to move on and do some uh, House of the Dragon, but I suppose that can wait for another season. I'm just kidding. <laughs> or how we finish this one. Yeah. You tell us, fam. Uh, it would be good to hear from you guys a little bit more out there on this video. That's, that's part of the reason why we got away from it in the first place. We didn't think anybody was enjoying it that much. So, turns out you were. Let us know in the comments, guys. That, that, that's how we'll know, and we'll keep going like that, guys. Right. Even if it's just a few of you, if you're if you're active out there for us, that will mean a lot for us so, so that others can watch the video, too. Yeah, just let us know, even if it's just to say, hey, good to see you guys, or something. That's good enough. Yeah. Okay? But as always, if this is your first time, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we drop a new video. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Skull fam. Skull Dan. Skull Joe. Later, you guys. Later.